kiddos, it's Mrs. Carrera. Today is Disney Day, so I'm wearing my favorite Disney ears and my shirt. All right, I'm gonna read to you Scarlet Bean by Karen Wallace. I hope you guys like it. All right. Ooh, look at the cover page. Isn't that pretty, all those vegetables? All right. When Mrs. Bean first saw her daughter's face, it was as red as a beet and the ends of her fingers were green. We shall call her Scarlet, declared Mrs. Bean. She will grow tall and strong and do something wonderful. And there's a picture of her when she was first born. Mr. and Mrs. Bean lived in a house that looked like a garden shed. It was cozy and made of wood, but it was very small. So they worked outside as much as they could. Scarlet lay in her stroller and listened to the flowers grow. And when she slept, she dreamed of doing something wonderful. There's their small little house. And here they are working outside and there's Scarlet in her little stroller. On her fifth birthday, Grandfather Bean gave Scarlet a vegetable garden. Are some of you guys working outside in your gardens? I hope so. It's sure a lot of fun to plant things and see how they grow. Her mother gave her a set of tools with wooden handles. Her father built a wooden fence to keep out the rabbits. And he made a white gate that Scarlet could open herself. Look how fun that looks. There's the tools and the gate that says no rabbits. And there's Scarlet opening the fence. Scarlet loved her new garden. She pulled up the weeds. She dug in the soil until it was all crumbly as chocolate cake. She planted a row of carrots, a row of onions, and a row of parsley. Here's a picture. Fill the vegetables in a row. That night, when she went to bed, the ends of her fingers glowed like green lights. Can you see her fingers right there glowing? The next morning, Scarlet ran to her garden. Her carrots were as huge as tree trunks. Her onions were as big as hot air balloons. Her parsley was as thick as a jungle. Look at that. Is that crazy or what? She must have a really good green thumb. Everyone in the village came to help. They used bulldozers to dig up the carrots. They drove forklifts to carry the onions. They cut the parsley with chainsaws. Oh my goodness, look how big that is. Those are huge. Look at the chainsaw down here. Mrs. Bean's kitchen was too small for so many vegetables, so she made soup in a concrete mixer. The house was too small for so many people. Do you guys know what a concrete mixer is? Look how small her house is. This is a concrete mixer. It mixes concrete. So she made the soup in there. Look, everybody's outside. They're eating soup out of a bathtub. Looks like they're having a good time. So Mr. Bean served the soup in the garden. Everyone said it was the best soup ever. And when it began to rain, they ate second helpings under the table. <laughs> and they all are eating. You can see it's starting to rain. There's some drops of rain coming down, so they decided to get under the table. That night, Scarlet Bean dreamed of something wonderful. She crept out of bed. In one hand, she held a small trowel. In the other, she had lots and lots of seeds. A trowel is like a little rake. Look at that. Can you see her sitting up in bed and her magic fingers? You see they're glowing green again. High above the meadow, the moon hung like a pearl in the sky. Scarlet dug a hole and put all the seeds at the bottom. As she covered them with earth, the ends of her fingers flashed like green stars. Oh, look at that. The next morning, the sun rose like a huge golden coin. 
In the middle of the meadow stood a castle made of vegetables. It had turnip turrets and a drawbridge, drawbridge held up by corn cobs. A cucumber tower stood at each corner. Look at that. Is that cool or what? Now she has somewhere bigger to live. Mr. Bean couldn't believe his eyes. It was the house of his dreams. Mrs. Bean kissed her daughter's face. I knew you'd do something wonderful, she whispered. Scarlet Bean was so happy, she turned as red as a beet, and the ends of her fingers sparkled like fireworks. Here's their little tiny house. Look at her fingers sparkling. Oh, and there they are, moving into their new house. And that is the end of our story, friends. I hope you like that, and I hope that you guys are getting outside and using your gardening tools and planting seeds. All right, my friends, I will see you later. Have a great day. Bye.